Over the last 10 years, UNSW has enjoyed enormous success and we've grown by more than 50%. Our success has been so great that our bustling campus is almost full. Now capping growth and shrinking to some sort of elite centre of privilege does not fit with our values. So we need to find a new way of welcoming more students. Together, UNSW has agreed on a new educational strategy. There are several projects that fit together and will help us to do more. Our campus is physically constrained. We've gone out to the boundaries, we've built up into the sky. The only dimension remaining is the fourth dimension, time. If we can spread our teaching out across the year, we can make better use of our campus. Spreading the work out will reduce the stress on our buildings and on our students and staff. We currently teach two 12-week semesters, but are planning on three 10-week terms and will retain an optional summer term. If students take just three courses per term rather than four, the course and teaching content can be preserved and we will have to reconfigure the timing of the lectures, pracs and other activities. Which brings me to the second project, the plan to review and refresh our entire curriculum. The Vice-Chancellor has committed $75 million to enhance our courses with the latest digital support. We'll be electrifying our teaching. There is work here, so we will also probably cancel some courses, but we'll create other new courses. Developing new courses is an exciting challenge, but how can our academics do all this? How can everyone excel in both teaching and in research? Which brings me to the third project, academic specialisation. We want to provide the opportunity for some of our staff to make a name for themselves via teaching. This would be good for students and would provide secure jobs for people. Perhaps we can become less reliant on a casual teaching workforce. We're starting our work in Sydney, but we are looking outward. One of our goals is to become a global university and we're a founding member of a new initiative called the PLUS Alliance. This is the fourth project. We've joined up with the prestigious King's College London and the innovative Arizona State University to offer education across the world. Some of this will be online. We're learning here from ASU and we're sharing our online experience. We intend to lead in teaching innovation. And one last thing, we don't plan to grow by another 50%. We're predicting 20% growth over the next 10 years, and we're also exploring some online growth, but we're not banking on it yet. We recognise that scale can be the enemy of a personal experience. That's why, in the Scientia Education Experience, we're emphasising communities. We need to be a federation of smaller communities. The communities will be held together by dialogue, feedback, and working with students as partners. We'll recognise inspiring teaching and we'll use digital support to connect people. So that's the finale, the four pillars of the Scientia education experience. Communities, dialogue, inspiring teachers and digital support. All this should enable us to be better and to offer a more transformative education.